Ridgewood School of Caloocan in cooperation with Robinson's Novaliches present Ridgewood School of Caloocan graduation day 2022 June 8 3 p.m. first batch grade 12 a Mr. Mario C. Apecchio Jr. Aquino DJ Tan. Babana John Sembrick with Mrs. Vivian Tamara and Mr. Sergio Metano. Baramena Angelo James E with Miss Charlene Baramena. Matoro Christian Ross with Miss Naira Matoro. Leonard John Carlo with Miss Evangeline B. Abo. Bernardino Angelo with Mr. Noel Bernardino. Takayan Michael Dominic. With Mrs. Gemma Rodon. Capo Christopher with Mrs. Susan Capon and Mr. Peter Capon. De Los Santos Epifanio Jr. with Mr. Ori De Los Santos and Mrs. Ramsey De Los Santos. Dimpal Morte with Miss Nilda Dimpal. Camille Paul Joseph with Miss Fe Del Rosso. Go Rob Cedric M with Miss Evangeline Go. With Miss Marisol L. Gregorio. Who have John Arcel? With Miss Lina R. Hua.
voces totales. Que Jaime Stephen Brian Moore Artesani Erika Paula B. With Mr. Eddie and Artesani. Elena Jennifer T. With Miss Jiffa T. Enero. Franco Juliana. With Miss Armin Franco. Galanera Mary Elizabeth and with this with her parents or origins. Manantil Angel Angeline Josh with Miss Marilyn L. Manantil. With Mr. Regante Soranos. Our distinguished faculty members, Marie Joanne C. Taro. Bambi M. Sentina, Hazel May M. Herrera, Glamorous B. Artinio, Junelle B. Eggie, Joanne P. Martinella, Beverly B. Monforte, Paolo B. Bolivar, John Paul B. Pagan, our Hello. school guidance counselor, Mr. Stephen H. Hermilia. Assistant coordinator, Ms. Ira and Barrera. School coordinator, Ms. Adora, Ms. Adora A. Barnatea. With our school directress, Ms. Maria Cecilia C. Suala. And our school administrator, engineer, Joseph A. Suala. And ladies and gentlemen, our honorable guest, Dr. Mario Lucero. with Ms. Sheila Gita. Please remain standing for the invocation to be led by Christian Ross E. Bataon to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem and GGC to be conducted by Paul Gamil and Gianpaolo Benna.
Let us pray. Lord, as we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into a new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessing that followed behind us. Amen. Again, may I call on Paul Gamil and Jan Paolo Benak.
Good afternoon, everyone, to our beloved guest speaker, Dr. Mario Lucero, to uh, our school administrator, Engineer Joseph Swalop, to our school academic coordinator, uh, Adora Barnachilla, guests, graduates. Today is indeed a very exciting event for after two years, we finally see each other face to face. Right? Are you excited? I know you are. For we are excited too. The pandemic has brought us overwhelming challenges, especially in education. But the best thing is God allowed education in the midst of it. It has taught a lot of lessons, resilience, creativity, being responsible of our learnings, and a lot more. And now, look at you. We have finally come to the conclusion of another meaningful school year that has put all our human capabilities to a great test. On the part of our students, countless assessments have been administered, have gauged enough how much have you been learned and how much more to learn about life. On the part of our teachers, the concluding school year still seems short of days to teach and share everything knows, known and expert about. To our brilliant students, supportive parents, hardworking teachers, members of the school administration, and all who have gathered here today, congratulations for a job well done and welcome to the commencement exercises 2022 of Richwood School of Kaloocan. Shall we give our school a big, big hand of applause? Also our parents, let us clap for our parents who've been supportive of you. And of course, a big, big hand of applause to our students who was in labor has sustained them and be with us wearing this toga this afternoon. Indeed, it's not easy. We cannot, we did not even foresee that we will be having this face-to-face -face graduation. All right, so at this juncture, let me introduce to you our respective, respected speaker. He has the following expertise in the areas of educational leadership and management, curriculum and instruction, human resources, communication arts in English, ICT, research, business education, fiscal management, and strategic planning. He finished his Doctor of Philosophy in Education, major in Educational Management in 2010, with a dissertation on the hermeneutics of principalship, a case study of Filipino educational leaders. Magna Cum Laude, dissertation grade at the University of Santo Tomas. He also took his Master's of Arts in English in 2002 with the thesis on computer-assisted learning, Magna Cum Laude thesis grade at the same university. His undergraduate degree in education with specialization in science opened vast opportunities for him to become a professional teacher and school leader for almost three decades. He also finished two postdoctoral programs in educational leadership and management and of course in research. 
He received numerous awards from various institutions and organizations locally and internationally from more than 50 countries across the globe. He is an international world record holder of four international prestigious books of world record because of his poems on COVID-19 published at the Amazon's Books and Journals in Asia, Europe, and America. He is known as the Global Post, a point for humanity. He served as ambassador of many organizations in more than 50 countries, country heads of many institutions and organizations, and director of organizations in Asia and Southeast Asian country. He holds 50 honorary doctorates from different uh, colleges and universities abroad and more than 100 honorary doctorates from different international recognized organizations. He has written many researches and published in reference journals. He is also a writer and author. As a graduate school professor in different universities, he handled courses in master's and doctoral programs in education and teaching English. He had taught in college of education graduate school of the University of the Philippines, Diliman and became a dean of the College of San Benito Rizal. He received a degree peerage as a Prince of Kutai Mulawarman Kingdom, Prince of Bali, Indonesia, and a Dato Radindo Sri Lanka at Belitung Kingdom. He is a vlogger, principal of Springfield School International and the founder president of Leadership in Education Academy and Development Philippines and other seven international organizations. Finally, he was named as the King of Education by Macedonian Association and yes, you can international United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome with a big, big head of applause, Dr. Mario C. Losero. Thank you, Mom, for that generous introduction. Of course, to the school administrator, Engineer Joseph Swallow, the school directress, Maria Cecilia Carnay Swallow, our academic coordinator, Mom Adora Barakea, members of the faculty and staff, graduating students, learners of Ridgewood, to our dear parents, friends, Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon to each and everyone. When I was informed that I was chosen to be your commencement speaker, I had mixed emotions. I'm very happy and felt elated because I would have a chance to see great people like you, the batch of 2022. For us educators, the life in the academy is difficult. Because we don't handle things, we handle people, delicate minds, principled character imbued with values, armored with different philosophy and pedagogy. This afternoon, we'll be celebrating an achievement of the exemplary performance of our graduates. This ceremony allows us to reflect that we have again created history in the lives of our awardees the graduates with their parents and families. Who knows in the future, 
Those who are seated there are going to become our great heroes, great leaders, and contributors to the development of our country with your chosen careers. The certificate of graduation that you will receive today will be a symbol of your achievement. But always remember that the true certificate of achievement is your heart that can never be taken away because that determines your character, your values, your attitude, and your destiny. The American painter John Surden once painted a panel of roses that was highly praised by critics. It was a small picture, but it approached perfection. Although offered a high price for it on many occasions, Surgeon refused to sell it. He considered it as best work and was very proud of it. Whenever he was deeply discouraged and doubtful of his abilities as an artist, he would look at it and remind himself, I painted that. Then his ability and confidence return. Most of our newly graduates at one time or another find themselves in similar situations just like John Surgeon. Some will pursue their dreams and find a new job, but some will take a rest for a while. As Surgeon did, you need to have a panel of roses to remind you of your own giftedness. After graduation, find a program that will determine your future. Many of you probably have learned in history or even in literature about the life of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. He once remarked, I have been driven many times to my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. His own wisdom and that all about him is insufficient every day. Astounding, isn't it, that, that the great man just like Lincoln seemed to possess such wisdom, faith, and determination, found himself inadequate for the tasks. But you graduates, like Lincoln can make or can reach your dream with God's help. Now, before you move on to the next level of your journey, allow me to give your final examination. Are you now ready, graduates? If you will get a perfect score of this after this ceremony, I will give you a graduation gift. Number one, can you name the five wealthiest people of the world? Can you also enumerate the top three film grocer of 2019? Or can you give the number one non-mobile game application that you have? Or you can name the last decade's World of World series of winners. These are very difficult questions. Perhaps you have a bit trouble coming up with some of these answers. What? Maybe your score? Four over zero? Now I'll give you another chance and we call this as your special test. Name your teacher who aided you through the years in your senior high school. Can you also name people who have taught you something worthwhile? Can you also name three friends who have helped you through difficult times? And lastly, name the best school in your community where you were enrolled and give you better education, if not the best. Yes, your answer to the last question is Ridgewood School of Kalaoka. Your basic education institution which prepared you to the tertiary level where you will explore your talents and abilities. Every day you have a chance to make somebody's list. A kind word, a compassionate moment, an encouraging smile, time to listen, to spark enthusiasm. Three decades ago, I was also a fresh graduate in college in a Catholic institution in Cagayan Valley, where my dreams were conceived. With persistence and determination, I was able to penetrate four big schools. I went to the University of Santo Tomas for my PhD and Master's, 
to the University of the Philippines as grad school professor at the Rio de Manila University for my diploma in education and leadership. With these experiences, I became a better person. Life is challenging and you have to be ready with a lot of surprises and twists. To the graduates, always remember the, fo the following powerful statement of Japan. He said, when you are 20 to 30 years old, please find a good boss. A good boss is better than a good company. A good boss will train you and will discipline you. When you are 30 to 40 years old, try to do something for yourself. Discover your best talents and stay focused in maintaining your talents. When you are 40 to 50 years old, do something you are good at. Don't do something you don't know anything about it. And when you are 50 to 60 years old, focus on helping others. Continue dreaming and believing in what you can do because ourself has prepared you to become productive. Continue loving and respecting your parents and be proud of your alma mater. May I request the parents and the graduates to please stand? Please, all parents. Thank you so much. Graduates, let's give your parents a resounding applause. Let's give them a big round of applause. They are the true achievers. To the parents, receive our warmest congratulations. Great job and thank you for your cooperation and support to the school. You may now take your seat, parents. To the school administrators, continue giving what was the best for the learners. Teachers, aim for excellence and do not just settle for mediocrity. Improve your craft and steer the burning passion of commitment and dedication for quality education. Finally, allow me to end my message by quoting, when we teach our students to live abundant lives, God will be done. Thank you and congratulations to Bass of 2022. Congratulations. Thank you, Ma Maria Cecilia C. Swallow and Dr. Margie Lucero for your inspiring message. Now, may I call on stage Engineer Joseph A. Swallow together with Ma Maria Cecilia C. Swallow, School Coordinator Ms. Adora Rakea, Barnachea, and our guest speaker Dr. Mario Lucero to, distribu to distribute the, dis the diplomas and awards. Again, good afternoon. Uh, Mr. Joseph Swallow, uh, I am proud to present to you the 29 graduates of grade 12 Anderson. Please stand. They have completed successfully all the requirements as prescribed by the Department of Education. So, they are given the diploma for finishing senior high school. May the power of me as 
School Administrator and President of Ridgewood School of Kalokan, I declare you graduates for the school year 2021-2022 of Ridgewood School of Kalokan. Congratulations. Now we will award your diplomas. Please come up stage with your parents. This way. Uh, okay. Okay. Parents, please be, please be with your children. Don't occupy the, the aisle. Uh, leave the aisle clear. You may take pictures at the sides. Okay? Because you have to put on the food to your children. Dita pa ganun. of diplomas and awards, here are the graduates of 12 Anderson. May I call on Abelino Mark Ian.
Batahon Christian Ross. He is also an Merit Awardee in Filipino, Merit Awardee in English, Merit Awardee in Social Studies, Academic Excellence Awardee in Math, with honors. Bernardino Angelo. Kakayan Michael Dominic M. De Los Santos Epifanio Jr.
English, Merit Awardee in Social Studies, Academic Excellence Awardee in Math with Honors. Lopez Nicolas Marvin. Osayas Leo and Rivera Dave Ison Tutanes Jericho Artisani Erika Paula Blue.
English, Merit Award in Math, Merit Award in Social Studies with Honors. Manankil Angel Lane Josh. Balata Beverly Lee. She is also an Academic Excellence Awardee in Filipino, Academic Excellence Awardee in English, Academic Excellence Awardee in Math, Academic Excellence Awardee in Science, and Academic Excellence Awardee in Social Science with high honors. Congratulations, graduates of Tom Anderson. Now, may I call on Beverly B. Beverly B. Tabalatsa for her graduation address. Once again, let us welcome on stage Beverly B. Tabalatsa.
Again, please give her a round of applause. To our beloved principal, Maria Cecilia Swalop, to our proud teachers, supportive parents, school administrators, guest speaker, friends, and to my fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of class of 2022, it is a great honor to give you a heartfelt welcome at Robinson's Mall of Allegiance to celebrate the graduation ceremony of the school year 2021. 2020. Thank you for being here all today. I want you to feel how delighted I am to be with you at this moment. I would like to say congratulations to my fellow graduates. This year has been more than we could imagine when we started the journey. I am proud to all of us that we have finished what we set to do. I am filled with a great sense of happiness and accomplishment. We all deserve it. We made it. We survived. Today, our senior high school journey has finally come to an end. And we are about to open another chapter of the life that we need to pursue. I never thought that the senior high school passage will be this fulfilling as I look back on today's. I can help but aspire for the memories we have shared. We all started as strangers, and eventually, that's one of the best moments I've ever had. To my teachers, who always been considerate, to all my excuses, thank you for all the things that you've been done. Your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. What a teacher writes from a blackboard of Blackboard of life can never be erased. Thank you, teachers, for support, guidance, and unconditional love. To my classmates, who I considered as my family, thank you for all the happy memories that you have spent with me. I'll treasure of those, all of those moments, and there's always be a special place here in my heart. Especially to my friend before, And of course, to my treasure, no other than my family. Thank you for loving me and supporting me through my journey. I couldn't have done it without you. And I love you all so much. Even where I am hoping that each and every one of us will become a very successful in the future. I look forward that we will grow personally and professionally. Dream big and go for it. Life is a precious and now you have the tools, the education, to even surpass your dreams and live an amazing life. You are now in the position to show the world how you can make it a better place for many. Please never forget to the people and this wonderful school that helped you reach this goal in your life. Keep this knowledge that you have learned. May God bless you all and be safe. Again, congratulations, class of 2022. Wish you continued success and happiness in all you do. I know how hard have you worked throughout your time at Regis School of Kalaokan Incorporated. And I want you to know that you're all did great, and I'm so proud of you. Your accomplishments are even more impressive as you carried them all out during the worldwide pandemic. I want to remind you that no matter how hard life is, don't ever give up. Just believe in yourself that you can make it even if it seems impossible. Don't be scared to try something new and please get out of your comfort zone. Put God first whatever you do. I wish you I wish for your success in the future. Again, thank you and congratulations everyone. Thank you, Beverly. And now to give his pledge of loyalty, may I call on John Sabrick Babara.
Drug rates, please all rise. Raise your hand and repeat after me. We, the graduates of Richmond School of Kalawakan, do solemnly pledge to remain faithful to our beloved alma mater, to live with the Christian values taught in our school. We promise to uphold these ideals, teaching, and tradition, and be a true religious in mind, heart, and spirit. So help me God. And before our closing remarks, may I call on Ma Maria Cecilia C. Swallow to give the plaque of appreciation to our honorable guests. Maria Cecilia C. Swalog. Now, to give her closing remarks, let us welcome our school coordinator, Ms. Adora A. Barnakea. Again, may I call on Ms. Adora A. Barnachea. To our guest speaker, Dr. Mario Lucero, our ARSOC uh, President and Administrator, Engineer Joseph Swalog, our Directress and Principal, Dr. Maria Cecilia Swalog, dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Before we close this afternoon ceremonies, I would like to take this last opportunity to say, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Ridgewood School of Kaloakan Incorporated, congratulations to all of you, most well deserved. Kudos also to the families and friends who have helped us arrive at this moment. Pwede po bang palakpakan natin muli ang ating mga bagong graduates? It is with great honor that I stand before you today to celebrate the achievements of our students 
during these extraordinary and challenging times. It has been a long, perhaps exhausting, and not always fun, but a fruitful and rewarding journey. During this pandemic, you all realize how fragile normality is. We entered the new normal in education with the blink of an eye. No one would have ever thought that the world would turn around and what you had previously taken for granted does not apply anymore. Each one of you have also become witnesses of the struggle of societies to react and adjust to the new conditions and education could only follow the same path. Perhaps many of you have not yet realized that these are historical moments and each one of you graduates made history in your unique way. From this afternoon, as the years go by, and with every challenging situation and life hurdle you may encounter, always remember this line in our religious hymn, in your religious hymn. We stand for the truth and strive to give our best so we can be the future nation's what? Pride. Okay, very good. So, dear graduates, no matter what we have experienced these past two years during this new normal education, I hope that as you remember that line, you will stay true to it. Be the future of our nation's pride. I pray and declare the words from the book of Psalms, chapter 28, verse 17, that the Lord will always be your strength and shield. As your heart trusts in Him, rest assured that He will always help you. May your heart leap for joy and sing praises to Him. I also hope that many years from now, one should become a more mature adult, the mere mention of Richwood School of Kaloopan or Arso will cause you to reminisce about all friendship or Zoom friendship or your ICCD friendship for that matter and bring up many food, many fond memories and create a big smile on your face. Can I see your big smiles now? Kahit na naka a uh, mask kayo makikita yan sa pinatang nyo. Thank you. Again, I say congratulations and may God bless you all, my dear RSOC graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Adora A. Barnachea for that wonderful and inspirational message. Now, on behalf of the Richwood School faculty and staff, we would like to congratulate our 2021 and 20 to 2022 graduates. Your families must be extremely proud of you. Once again, I am Maria Eliza Luzante. This ends our program. A pleasant afternoon to everyone. Again, congratulations graduates.